my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about the expert secrets in the trilogy if you've heard of the trilogy the secrets trilogy from Russell Brunson then you probably already know about it but if you haven't this is for you so we're going to talk about the expert secrets and what you can expect from that book um I'm going to I've listened to it 20 times the audio and I've I've listened to the previous version I've listened to the new version and I can tell you the difference and what you're going to get out of it the story behind how I read it how I got into it and and why I love it so much is coming up right now but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So the Expert Secrets book, the series, so there's two of them. Yesterday I did the episode on the dot-com secrets, right? And then, now I'm going to be talking about the Expert Secrets. This is the original Expert Secrets book the original the first edition that was in uh 2017 so Russell Brunson wrote or published anyways the dot-com secrets in 2015 2017 for the expert secrets and the expert secrets has got 268 pages 268 pages and oops there it is the number right there 268 so it's got 268 pages the first edition and the what happened is that I've been doing online marketing for five years now and one of my friends uh talked to me about expert secrets book because he knew I was do, trying to do webinars and this book talks about webinars and doing it anyways I'm not going to get into it but this book talks about that and my friend said hey you should check this out you should get this book and I actually went and I got it on audiobooks.com I've got an app on my phone so it's an audiobook so I listened to the audiobook and the thing that it it's insane the stuff I learned from it how to do webinars how to repeat them how to anyways there's so much I'm going to cover that in a second but you know what happened is that a couple of months ago in March March Russell Brunson came out with the traffic trilogy the third book in the series the traffic trilogy and he re-released and edited dot-com secrets and expert secrets and if we look at expert secrets right here let me just show you that let's get it out of the box get it out of the box he redid the expert secrets and he so he um he redid it he added stuff to it he removed things from it in the dot-com secret book for example he talked a lot about the attractive character your soap opera sequence your uh, Seinfeld email sequence those kinds of things that we're gonna I'm gonna explain in a minute but those are no longer in the dot-com secret book they're in the expert secret book only uh and if I look at the number of pages we said earlier that the first book was the first book was two three two hundred and 60 268 pages for the first book and the second book is 355 pages Oops. see that right there 355 355 355 so that's like 50 well uh, almost 100 more pages right and why is there more pages what's the difference maybe the the writing is a little the spacing is different or something but chances are it's not it's the same kind of the same it would take up the same space it's just really there's more content when I listen to the audio I can tell there's more content so what are you going to get from the expert secrets what's the big deal about the expert secrets this is the underground playbook on how for creating mass movement of people so basically it teaches you how to get fans to follow you how to grow your audience how to grow uh, on social media how to build an audience that actually will love and follow you and be your fan so let's get right into the content and let's cover some of that stuff so let's see okay first of all B talks about uh becoming the expert so Russell talks about B so there's there's one two three there's four sections all right so section number one is creating your movement so he talks about creating your movement how do you do that what are the steps to get that happening right then he talks in section two he talks about creating belief so you got to create belief so that people you know believe what you're peddling right what you're selling 
um in section three it's the 10x secrets one to many selling he talks about that and in section number four he talks about becoming your dream customer's guide so how does that all fit what is all that right so first of all in becoming the expert secret number one he talks about finding your voice so what does finding your voice mean right finding your voice you've heard this lots of times I'm sure basically what happens is you don't necessarily know how to talk to your ideal customer how to what to talk about how to get like me I'm, I'm still learning that stuff right how do I talk so that people are interested how the, that they like what I'm I'm talking about and that, and that's the thing so you know as a to find your voice it's it's all about you know taking on the identity of the reporter the dreamer starts with a spark he talks about evolution from attractive character to expert he talks about um he talks about well here look there's a little, cool little diagram right here for those watching the video if you're watching the audio you can get that in the book but basically in the diagram here he shows us the expert the guide and then the movement then you have a new opportunity and then in the future you become you talk about the future-based cause so so the first stage of becoming the expert is to step into your role as a leader to guide your dream customers to their destination so that's one of the things he talks about in the in the in finding your voice so you know evolution from attractive the five phases to becoming an expert he talks about the dreamer phase one then he talks about phase two taking on the identity of the reporter then he talks about uh the shift from growth to contribution the phase number three he talks about building your own frameworks and in phase four he talks about where is that phase number four he talks work for free serving your future dream client so this is it he kind of outlays the whole thing how you do all that how you get to a point where you have then you become an expert in phase number five right so what do you need to become as a leader he talks about it's it's insane the stuff that he tells us he gives us the secrets of all of this how to find your voice and then how to get to prof what the prolific index is you know uh, when you're constantly sharing new and innovative ideas you fall into what I call the prolific prol prolific zone he talks about the um how it naturally creates polarity which attracts raving fans because uh, polarity is is the extreme of of two different uh points of view if you if you will he talks about encouraging dreams he talks about confirming suspicions he talks about allaying fears throwing rocks at enemies and justifying failures I mean this is all part of finding your voice you know understanding what your message is how to communicate it how you're going to get people to follow you and to, to to believe in you right okay so number two secret number two he talks about teaching your frameworks so once you know what your voice is how to how to communicate what you're building then you talk then he talks about well he explains how you teach your framework what does it mean to teach your framework right so teaching your framework so he's he's got another like cute little diagram right here um it basically shows how to teach your framework right in here he goes and says the story you got to figure out what the story is and then you got to have a strategy what what are you going to what are you going to teach right and then he talks about the tactics how do you, what are the tactics how are you going to teach it right and then there's social proof examples right so you got to get social proof so how do you get that when you're starting out he talks about how to get the social proof he talks about how to you know in in the levels he talks about levels level one where you create your movement uh, and creating belief your 10x secrets you're becoming your dream customer's guide in level two you become you're becoming the expert in level two and you have a new opportunity he talks about the new opportunity he talks about the the blue ocean versus the red ocean he talks about all these things so you can go deeper into your frameworks depending on how much time you have with each level you can spend more and more time teaching that framework and and you know the levels are basically where your customers are right he also talks about the sub markets he talks about the different sub markets the different markets the main three right health wealth and relationships and then each of those have multiple sub markets that you can go into and each of those have multiple sub sub markets that you can go into you can invent your own sub sub markets he talks about that he talks about the 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 niches right like this for example over here he talks about a niche he says that 
if you have uh you know the, there's the three markets and then there's there's a sub market like you know when we showed you a second ago there in wealth for example there's real estate well wealth is the, one of the three markets right and then real estate is a sub market of that and then inside of real estate there's niches there's a whole bunch of different niches you know selling first time home buyers or selling in a specific uh specific price range or selling a specific kind of house you know maybe a house that has a sauna versus houses that don't have it maybe specializing in selling houses on ebay or i mean there's so many different different uh, things that you can do right so he talks about all these and he gives a lot of examples in here I don't know if you can if you're watching if you're listening to the audio obviously you can't see this but he's got a whole bunch of examples here in the book like, <laughs> like for example wealth real estate short selling houses wealth real estate flipping houses wealth real estate flipping houses on ebay and then there's relationship parenting dealing with toddlers parenting dealing with teenagers parenting dealing with marriage after kids leave relationships dating how to talk to a girl etc right all these different um examples of niches that you can get into that you can become the expert of or maybe you already are the expert of one of these you don't even realize that you could actually teach that because to you it's obvious it's obvious that's one of the struggles I have for sure is that lots of times I don't realize that the stuff I know isn't obvious to other people right for me it's all obvious so it's just same for you anything you know is obvious to you it's normal and we we don't we don't realize that other people don't don't have the same knowledge that we do it's but you know it's obvious right again another another knowledge that's obvious is that others don't know what you necessarily know um so then after that let's go back step secret number three the three core markets or desires actually that's kind of what I was talking about the three core markets so wealth uh, well actually that's not that's not true I don't think so that's different 58 let's go back yeah no that's what it was yeah so the three core markets um and then secret number four the new opportunity that's one of the things that he talks about a new opportunity is you look at the core markets and then you look at the sub niche the niches and then the the, the well the sub markets and then the niches and you figure out what niche are you in what are you trying to sell you got to be super precise because if you're not precise you're basically I'm, I'm sure you've heard this before if you're marketing to everyone you're marketing to no one if you try to if your thing is awesome and everybody can benefit from it then great but you can't be marketing to everybody you got to be you got to pick a specific target market a specific niche and market to them because otherwise nobody's going to hear a message because it'll be way too diluted you're going to be trying to attract too many people and it's just not going to work that's that's just marketing that's just how it works so the then he talks about more money for the same framework in secret number five I'm trying to remember what that is let's take a look page 98 98 98 right over here so this is maybe more money for the same framework let's see what he talks about understand how to use the information products um and then he basically uh talks about funnels and upsells and he's got some pictures here of examples right here so I'm going to just read that because if you're in the audio obviously you don't but he says uh, how to set healthy boundaries give yourself permission number two be honest about your limits and number three be ass assertive say when you mean mean what you say don't apologize put you first so these are ads on social media posts using frameworks as hooks that's an example of something that he's got here lead magnet he talks about uh, online course he talks about books oh yeah so this is the, this is he's talking about uh, the the um he's talking about the uh, value ladder I don't know why I did, didn't say that in here this is the value ladder basically where you start off uh and he shows here he shows the 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 growth or the the going up the ladder of your value so like for example lead magnet a free lead magnet you have a book free plus shipping kind of membership site 10 to 100 dollars per month you can have an online course 100 to a thousand dollars kind of a seminar or workshop 500 to 5,000 mastermind 10,000 100,000 one-on-one 10,000 plus and he talks about these different value price ladder right here right you can see that right here the value ladder right so he talks about that in here um what else uh, yeah so then he talks about the framework physical products turning your frameworks into an offer a stack slide the stack slide oh the stack slide is that it is that the next one 
it's not it's if he doesn't have that separated the way I remember it so there's the stack slide which is part of your more money for the same framework the stack slide is something that you do when you're doing a webinar where you have at the end you have a slide that contains all your offer uh, he talks about that a lot and it really helps to 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 understand because he says that when you're doing a webinar at the end of the webinar if you have you know let's say you have an a, a, you're selling something right in your webinar and you offer it near the near the end right you show the value it's an amazing thing it's only 50 bucks or whatever or 100 bucks or 500 bucks whatever it is and it's amazing it's got all these things and then you're like but on top of that I'm going to give you this I'm going to give you one hour of my time I'm going to give you this this framework I'm going to give this tool I'm going to give you this you tell you give the, these uh, extra bonuses right and at, at the very last slide you just have the last bonus which might be an hour of my time right an hour of my time for me maybe would be you know 100 bucks or 200 bucks right but the person watching the webinar might not know me that well they might not think that that's worth that and you're selling the course for 500 bucks and all they see at the end is the hour with you they might be like well that's not really worth it they they think that's what they see so that's what the stack slide is the very last slide should have the the thing you're selling the offer number one offer number two offer number three offer number, all of it with the total value and the price right so that's the stack slide uh what else uh, anyways there's so much more I mean he talks about future Bates cause uh, he talks about the epiphany bridge he talks about the hero's two journeys the epiphany bridge script the four course stories he talks about the perfect webinar the big domino the three secrets the stack close the trial closes testing your presentation live the perfect webinar shortcut the five minute perfect webinar plugging expert secrets into your value ladder so I mean for example uh I remember um the four the epiphany bridge the hero's two journey what was it that I was thinking about trial closes stack and closes oh yeah there's one thing <laughs> that was in the old book that he called the big lie and that's one of the things that you you we as marketers we use all the time right we say it's not your fault and that's the big lie in the sense that we're all responsible for our own actions whatever happens in our lives is caused by us is caused by our choices by our decisions by how we react how we act to things and uh and and you know I'm not saying it's your fault that you that you're where you are I'm just saying that part of it is your responsibility but that's the big lie and when I say it's not your fault come come take a look at this come get this book right by the way you can get this book at expertsecrets.jeansergegagnon.com or books.clickecourse.com you'll get all the links there but you can get this book for free just go to expertsecrets.jeansergegagnon.com I'll put the link below of course but yeah I mean this is the expert secrets book I could probably go on I mean I've covered a lot of it uh, but there's so much in here that is insane value and like when we talk about the heroes let's talk about the heroes two journeys 162 so the hero's journey 162 right over here the hero's journey right so the heroes two this is the heroes he talks about the hero's journey right here right whoops he actually goes through the whole thing explains it all he's 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 he did in 1949 Campbell wrote a book detailing his findings called the hero with a thousand faces in it he laid out his 17 stage story framework which he called the hero's adventure so it's basically kind of explains that a hero goes through a series of events to become the hero and in all movies and books where there's there's this character that's going through transformation he becomes this the the hero right and and Russell talks about an example of Lightning McQueen in Cars where Lightning McQueen at the beginning he wants to win the Piston Cup he wants to win the Piston Cup but he becomes more than what he wanted he doesn't win at the end but he becomes more because he learns value the value of of you know um caring for others and all this right not just for him right that's kind of a hero's journey so in here we talk about the hero's journey there's number one there's the call to adventure so the hero receives a calling to the unknown right number two is the refusal of the call so obligations or fear prevents hero from starting the journey number three there's a supernatural aid so magical helper appears or becomes known 
so number four is crossing the first threshold so hero be, hero leaves their known world and ventures into the unknown um, number five is belly of the whale the final stage of separation from the known world number six is the road of trials so hero must pass the series of tests to begin transformation number seven is meeting with the goddess or love hero experiences unconditional love uh, number eight temptation a hero faces temptation that will distract from their ultimate quest number nine is atonement with the hero's father hero must confront the person who holds ultimate power in their life number 10 peace and fulfillment before the hero's return hero moves to a state of divine knowledge usually through some some form of death uh, number 11 the ultimate boom achievement of goal number 12 refusal of the return so having found bliss and enlightenment in the other world hero may be reluctant to return number 13 magic flight sometimes the hero has to escape with the boom number 15 14 rescue from without sometimes the hero needs a rescuer number 15 is return Re hero returns with retains wisdom gained on their quest and integrates it into human society and sharing their wisdom with the world 16 is master of two worlds hero achieves balance between the material and spiritual inner and outer world and finally 17 freedom to live free from fear of death hero lives in the moment without concern for the future or regrets of the past so that's the hero's journey right and, and uh, Russell expands that into the hero's journey with 12 uh with 12 steps instead of uh and it gives an example of Harry Potter's and the Sorcerer's Stone they're the Lion King he gives uh, the hero's two journeys uh their two journeys is the conflict the separation the character and the desire so in order for the character to go on a journey to achieve his desire he has to separate from the ordinary world and then there's the journey he shows here the separation and the journey right here the hero the character the dreams and then there's the separation in the middle the 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 conflict right so the villain is down there so I mean and the, and he shows well that's kind of funny because he shows little diagrams of each of the different steps right in the book kind of shows you the achievement and all that so that's it I'm not going to go any further there's so much more in this book like I said get your copy at expertsecrets.jeansergegagnon.com go to or go to books.clickecourse.com to, to get your copy of the expert secrets you're going to get the new book and you can even get the whole trilogy right here you can get this whole thing this whole trilogy by going to traffic secrets dot uh, jeansergegagnon.com you can go to traffic secrets jeansergegagnon.com I'm going to put a link in there traffic secrets and then in the traffic secrets funnel you can actually get the whole trilogy like this and you can get your own copy you can get the audios you can get all that and I you know it's really worth it I'm I'm not I'm not you know I'm not peddling this to sell it I'm just telling you it's an amazing book I learned so much from the expert secrets it's it's life-altering right so hopefully we'll see you on the inside and if you have any questions reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.